Okay. Okay. So now I'm working, I'm making sure that I'm taking, the, the brush also influenced the shape. So I need to shape it this way and this way. So now I'm going to add some pink because I can see some pink sitting in here. There. Can you see the different colors coming through? Okay, this is also on paper. The paper is not nice and equal. Okay, now I'm going to go put more reds in. I'm mixing these two reds together. Look how beautiful they're warm and the cool red. When I mix them together, they make like a fire engine red. Can you see that? It's beautiful. Very nice color. Okay, now, before I go on, and this is very important, at some stage, you need to start working on your background. Because your background tells you where to go with your foreground. Can you guys see that it's starting to shape quite nicely? So now, before I go on, I need to just tell myself what's going to happen here. So, I'm just going to clean my rest of my palette knife on here. Now, the apple is basically red, and my light is coming from there. So, what you want to do, you want to think about the, about the concept of chiaroscuro, which is, if that is light, it would, it would look nice I have, if I have a dark background there. If that is yellow, what would be the opposite of yellow? What would be a nice complementary color to yellow? Mm -hmm. Purple. Purple, correct. Yeah. And if this is red, what would be a nice complementary color to red? Green. Green, correct. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a brush because now I want to contrast not only the, the palette knife with the background, I also want to, uh, with the colors with the back of the background, I also want to contrast the style of the background. So I want to mix a purple to go there, a nice dark purple, because I want the light to stand out against the dark. Maybe I should do the palette knife. Okay, what well, I can try just now. So I'm just going to shape. I could actually do the palette. I'm just sort of use, using scumbling. You guys remember scumbling? I'm just roughly putting it in. And I'm going to make it. Can you see how the the two are? The, that, that is making the light look lighter. Can you see that? So now I'm going to put some. I'm going to make it sort of greeny. And green has got what colors in yellow and blue. Mm -hmm. So I can actually change that to, towards blue. So I'm going to make it towards blue. So can you see how I'm thinking it out? So this might not stay like this. And then I'm going to change it towards green. Because it's a logical progression. Now, can you see that this makes it makes it stand out already more? So now I'm going to make this even darker. So sometimes the, when you work on the background, the background tells you. So here I'm using long strokes because I want it different than that. I'm going to use a lot of short strokes there. Now make sure that the palette knife is mixing it really nicely. Look at the dark, how the light's coming out. Can mm -hmm. you see? Yeah. And look at the blue coming up, coming out behind that now. Can you see? It's very simple. Look how intense it's looking. So that was looking quite dull. Now it's suddenly looking brighter because I've contrasted it with the dark. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. It's amazing how a little tiny something can change your whole painting. So now, I want a lot of light here. So I'm going to make this a nice bright green. Let's make this. So now can you see, I'm actually focusing on the background. Now I'm not focusing on the foreground at all. It's a nice green. Yeah, nice. but I, I want it light, so I'm going to make it lighter. And I want it to look blue green. Yeah. And I want that more yellow. So I'm sort of making the illusion of a table here. Mm -hmm. 
Can you see I'm using nice big strokes? Can you see how it's standing out? So now I can go back to my foreground apple and I can say, okay, now I want to bring this out. So I'm going to go for a smaller knife now. I want to bring out more um, of the light over there. So I want to go really nice and light and small because now we're going for detail. So there is a light reflection there. Can you see it's not an absolute copy of that, but it's close enough. It's, I need you want with palette knife it's not realism, it's the feeling and the vibrancy that you want to bring out. There's some green in the background and this green picks up this green. So I can this is called scraffito where I scratch in. Can you see there? So I need a little bit of darkness at the bottom here. And I want that to be nice and light pink kind of thing because I know pink is a strong color and it stands out. Look at all the paint I've used so far. I've almost used up everything. Oh, John, don't you want to pass that for me? Or just answer it and just say I'm busy with the glass on so I'm back. Can you see how nicely this is starting to look? Sorry? Yeah. She's busy at the moment. Can I? Okay, we'll do it. Okay. We need some bright red. Can I give a further and can I can all? That's such a nice speaking voice. I don't mean, I don't mean. I don't mean. I don't mean. Okay. I want to brighten that up. And I need some. So, I want to, what the color do I add if I want to brighten? I add. Cold yellow. I can either add cold or warm. Can you maybe get your warm here? Because it's going to make it more orangey. Remember, lighter, brighter, duller, darker. Eh? You guys remember that? Lighter, brighter, brighter, lighter, brighter, brighter, brighter duller, darker. Remember, we did that. Yeah. I'm going to add some more white to this. So I want to add a little bit in here. And can you see it's not exactly like that, but it doesn't look bad at all. It's, it's fun. It's a happy apple. <laughs> and that's what it's supposed to be. It's a apple. It's a apple, yeah. <laughs> it is easy. <laughs> yeah, it's a bye. Okay, can you can you see that it's getting together quite nicely? Mm -hmm. Adding some more darks in. Can you see the darks? It's always in the end. You always have to go back to your darks because your darks is what makes the thing happen. So it's not an exact copy, but it works really nicely. Does it look like a nice apple? Very nice. Okay. Ta-da!